welcome back to the channel don't forget to subscribe and follow lace up your shoes and subscribe to my channel there we are north greenwich underground station just on my way to london bridge So here we are, London Bridge. That was a bit of a, it was okay. Trains are running fine, but it's all about packed. Packed in like sardines for that time in the morning. Quite shocking. The toilets at London Bridge Station, there's a queue out the door. And there's actually no chance of getting in one of their little cubicles. But hopefully, I think I'll be okay. <laughs> I think it's a runner's, uh, a runner's uh, nightmare, isn't it? Making sure you get that toilet just right the timing but uh, it's nice and quiet in a minute I'm gonna enjoy this little uh, quietness before the uh, the mayhem begins so I'm just walking along the Thames now take a look at this view Tower Bridge in all its glory HMS Belfast just there City of London Tower of London So an advantage of getting here nice and early, I found some loads of uh, portaloos and they are absolutely spotless. So I'm quite happy now, very, very happy. So a little bit of a warm up. So I don't want to be staying around too much. I'm a bit early for the warm up, but then I've got to get early to me, to me uh, starting pen. So I'm just having a little warm up along Tooley Street. walking over Tower Bridge now. Probably the, one of the most iconic London landmarks, I would say. One of my favorite parts of the London Marathon. You're almost halfway here, just coming up to 13.1 miles on the marathon. This time we're starting the 13.1 miles. Welcome to the start of the Big Half Marathon. Sit back and relax and then we'll see you along the course. Let's hear it for Simone Farah. Here we go. So I'm holding back for my pacer friend, Ray. Yeah, and this one's for our club as well. So I'm gonna try and stick with him as much as I can. I'm quite sure whether I will make it, but I'll give it a damn good go. First mile done. Well ahead of schedule. Can't we help it on this course? It's quite a drop, quite a downhill part. So we're going into Limehouse Link Tunnel now. Bring us down to the Docklands. This is a 
the strange part of the course this. Well, it's nice to be out in the fresh air now. It's pretty stuffy in that tunnel. So this is about the only major uphill part. Now, I think about 50 seconds ahead of schedule. I'm gonna need that. Well, I think we're just over four miles and I can already feel I'm not gonna be hold, holding to this pace. So, definitely no chance of a uh, sub 90 already. So, I need to try and get that out of my mind and still try and get a, a decent time. Give me some something to build on. I think we're uh, over halfway. My pace is uh, disintegrating. I've actually got nothing in the legs, which is a bit unusual. Happy runner, very flat. It's, a, it's not very nice when you know that 90's gone. It's like you think to yourself, I might as well just slow down, but it's not me. I sort of like to try and push as much as I can. Well, not quite a, a day for me. Now I'm gonna be a minute or two outside. My legs are completely uh, knackered, quite surprised. Maybe it's the heat, I don't know. So I watch has just hit 90. Probably got about 500 meters. There's no way I'm gonna push it. No point now. It wasn't today, but good training, man. We also a bit now to the cutty sock. Over 16,000 runners towing the start line today. Oh, I need a drink of water. I'm absolutely gasping. I couldn't take any water when I was running. Two reasons, got this mini camera in one hand. And uh, I just don't find, find it easy drinking that pace. Water is left and right. Lucas over around the corner. Much needed that water. That was tough. A warm one. Oh, 
time to get the bag back. I'm glad to see it's a lot better organised than it was about three years ago, the year we were, just before we went into lockdown. It was absolutely horrendous. Everyone was claiming over each other right before the pandemic. Not ideal, but this is a lot better. So collection 44 just to be just round here. Well that's it, that's the big half out of the way with. A little bit disappointed in me time. I'm not quite sure the official time yet, no doubt. They come up pretty quickly. But uh, I'm gonna have to book myself up. Oh sorry, excuse me. I'm going to have to book myself a half marathon uh, pretty soon in October or something. I need to get under that 90. Catch you all later.